If you're serious about competing in college athletics, do not limit yourself to just the NCAA. Hey guys, it's Josh, the Now You Know It All, coming to you today to continue my series on recruiting and being a collegiate athlete. Uh, I've already got three of those videos posted, ready to go. Uh, the first one's talking about things you need to do before you're even recruited. Uh, the second one is going to talk about things you can do to get noticed by college coaches. And the third one that I have up is actually talking about how to be successful once you get there. Now, once again, those are not the end all answers everything's there complete videos those are just basic things that i've seen and heard from college coaches that high schoolers just don't understand and even though they're simple they're just not thought about so i wanted to get those out there but today i'm actually doing a little bit different topic uh, i'm focusing in on choosing what level of college and not overlooking other levels of college so guys before we do if you take a moment uh, to click like uh, down below that does help out and don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, that does help out as well but guys let's jump right into this and this is something that I've been hearing for years but even more so lately and that's high school athletes saying yes I want to compete at the college level but I'll only do it at the NCAA level I'll only do it if I get this much in scholarship if I don't get this and I don't get that then I'm not going to compete and that just blows my mind. It blows my mind that people, especially high schoolers, will think so little of their opportunity to compete in college, whether it be NAIA, whether it be JUCO, whether it be Division I NCAA. The opportunity to compete in college is an opportunity you don't want to overlook. One of the, one of the key reasons why I don't want people overlooking it is because you get a chance to keep playing. You get a chance to keep doing what you're doing. And let's be honest. The scholarship money you get at an NAIA versus an NCAA school, it's still money. It's money. So a $10,000 scholarship at NAIA, which, you know, I don't know if NAIA schools really give out that much. And if they do, that's $10,000. That's $10,000. Don't just overlook schools because they don't have NCAA D1 next to their, their athletic page. And when you overlook stuff, you miss opportunities. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I cover JUCO baseball here in the Northwest, and the athletes on those teams are tremendous. They are amazing. Many of them continue on to four-year schools, and many of them go on to play at Division I schools. They've had the opportunity to play against college athletes and show their skills against a better level of competition, and then the Division I schools go and recruit them. Because those guys already have a proven track record of success. And let's be honest, an incoming freshman versus an incoming JUCO transfer, the JUCO transfer is probably going to have a better chance of winning the starting spot just because they've already competed at a higher level. So guys, do not overlook junior colleges, NAIA, even Division Three and Division II NCAA baseball programs. When you do that, you limit your options and you hurt yourself. You hurt yourself not just in the short term because there might be a great school out there who wants you to come play for for them and they're offering you a scholarship they're offering you a school that has that maybe fits your personality that offers the major you want better education don't overlook that but also long term if you want to coach in a sport it's a lot easier to get a coaching position if you can walk in and say i competed in college whether it be junior college, NAIA, NCAA, if you compete in college, that holds a lot of weight. It doesn't matter. Yes, maybe if you were a superstar at, at an NCAA Division I school, that does help carries weight. But let's be honest, an athletic director just wants to know that you have knowledge and experience at a higher level. And if that's NAIA, so be it. As long as you know the game, they'll bring you in and, and give you a chance. So don't overlook opportunities. Don't limit yourself because of your high standards of what you think you're capable of doing. You might be able to compete at the Division One level, but you might not be able to. And you might be so focused on yourself thinking, I know I can do it, that you're not realizing that the college coaches are seeing you and not grading you at that level. So go to a junior college and prove them wrong. 
go to a JUCO, go in there and just play your best and show them that yes, you can compete at the higher level. Go in there and use it as an opportunity. There is nothing that frustrates me more than talking with a high schooler and them saying, well, you know what, the Oregon States and the Washingtons and Washington States and the Utahs and UCLA's, they're not recruiting me, so I guess I'm not gonna go play college baseball. But you have all these other schools who are dying to have you, would love to have you, and you're overlooking them because they don't have the right name or the right label next to their athletic department. That's being stupid. That, that's flat out being stupid. If you have a chance to play in college, take it. Take it. Go have fun. Learn. Use it for the future. You never know what can come of it. Like I said, don't, over, don't overlook JUCO. JUCO is an amazing route. It is an amazing route that people overlook. And once again, I've covered JUCO for a number of years now. And I'm telling you, there's legit guys there. I've seen guys who've gone on to be drafted. I've seen guys who go on to play for Division One teams and make an impact and, and have key roles on that, those teams. Don't overlook any level of college athletics. If someone's interested in you, take the time to do research and look into it. Don't let your friends make you feel bad because it's not NCAA Div Division One. Don't let your parents push you as saying, well, if it's not good enough, then don't do it. No, don't do that. Make up your own mind, look at all the opportunities and take advantage of what you have. If you don't, you're gonna regret it. I promise you, you will regret it in the future when you look back and say, well, I had this scholarship, but I chose not to go to that school because it wasn't D1. People, first of all, they won't believe you. They won't believe you. And second of all, you're gonna look back and say, man, I wish I could have kept playing. I wish I would have kept being on the field. You just will, you're gonna regret it. Don't live life regretting something that you can take advantage of right now. If you're a high school athlete and any college talks to you, talk to them, research, look into them. You know what? It might be the best decision of your life. There are hundreds of people who I have seen in the last couple years who went to the JUCO route and they constantly talk about how it was the best decision of their life. So guys, I know it was kind of focused, kind of intense, whatever, but this needs to be said. I'm tired of people overlooking other levels of college athletics because they get so high and mighty about their own skills and they may be off. They may be way off. It's better to play than to not. That's just my opinion. So guys, I'm Josh, the 90 know-it-all. I know a few things about this. Trust me, I do. And guys, have fun. Check out the other videos. I think they're helpful. You know, there's a lot of things that athletes and parents tend to overlook during the during the recruiting process so guys have a good day and i'll talk to you later